uh, dear students so today we will learn that how we can do the plotting uh, in python different charts uh, like we have pie, pie charts we have um, a box whisker chart we have a dot matrix chart so how we can uh, compute it in a, in a in python so we need a very important library which is called matplotlib you must import it and as a alias plt and then we also some numbers to generate for example or to play with the numbers so we need a numpy and after that one for example if you want to uh, make a pie chart for the for the data uh, so we need to like you know store the data in in a in an array so after storing the data in an array uh, we we have another like you know variable in which we store uh, different labels okay so which you can see here and after that one you need to plot it so we when so there is an alias we define over here and that alias can be used over here so we say we you know plot uh, plt with the pie chart so we put a pie chart and after that one uh, we need to put the the data variable which is uh, this one okay this contains the data and this contains the label and label is here okay so after having this one we ask the python to show the table and after when we run it so we have um, this new data after this one now let's try some another time of chart like line chart so we have a code here for the line chart um, so in this uh, code what we have it uh, we uh, store a series series of the data and along with the index right so index means like a uh, x-axis and y-axis and then we ask them to plot it so there is another structure with a plot uh, for example with s3 variable we uh, we make a function plot so the function plot uh, we will pass two uh, values which is called the line which is the which will tell the python to draw a chart which is a line and then the title with the line plot so if we just like you know run this one uh, so it will have a uh, this kind of um, plot we will have it so you can see over here so on the x-axis you have the indexes and on the y-axis you have the series data now let's try another chart uh, and you will see that okay this chart we already done it so there is another kind of chart box fixer chart so in the box fixer chart as we have five different values we have it so um, let's suppose the data we store in a in a in, a, in this matrix so the data is stored over here we need the matter plot uh, library for it and then uh, we say that plot dot uh, box plot dot area right and moreover uh, for customization of the plot we need some like you know labeling uh, we call it category and like value and uh, and the title especially we need it right and the grid so if you want the grid behind it so if you make it like you know false so it will there will be no grid behind it right so let me uh, run this one so if i run it so yeah so you we will have now yeah you can see over here there, this is the the that we have it so there is no uh, so this is not a sorry this is not a box piece of chart this is a, uh, a plot uh, this is a box uh, dot chart we have it in the dot chart so you can see that one and uh, after that one what we have it yeah sorry this one is the the dot chart so fall is not defined fall is not taking it so we need to uh, pass true value in that one so this value let's uh, let me uh, run this one again and you will see that how this value is uh, so sometimes spelling also matters so uh, let me it's like you know it will take uh, some time to show the value yes yeah so now you can see the grid behind it so maybe the we have put the uh, the first letter should be capital so let's try with the first letter capital i hope this works because and the actually we want to remove the grid value from the behind and you will see that how this value is uh, removed from here yeah so now we will see that how is the value yeah now you see there is no grid line there is no lines over there because now the f spelling this should be capital over here with the false right okay now let's try with the um, another one uh, yeah now this one we for example if you want this kind of chart this is called dot matrix chart i uh, might be it's a new for you right so you can try this one as well so for this one we have this uh we must have like you know binary data which is in a zero one form right because means it is on and off okay so in the dot and then we um, what we, we also need the same library the same library works for all so no need to change and then we have like you know some uh, like some more uh, some labeling and some like you know 
decoration for that one so these are the decorations elements uh, like for example um, we have x axis y axis so you can see over here uh, you can have some data even if you want to write your name for example you say this is my axis okay cpa so uh, so now instead of x axis what will happen uh, there will be uh, like you know your own tag okay so just to show you that uh, this is just a comment so you, yeah you know you see your my axis cba right so this you can change it you can change the name of this one as well uh, the dot matrix so you can say like this is my dot matrix right so you can change over here and the the title will be changed to the my dot matrix and so the most important code is this one right so this is the most important which is create the plot for you right? so thank you very much and best of luck